Good evening, everybody. In high school football, Kirksville defeated Fulton Friday night. It was the Tigers' fourth win of the year last year. They would have folded the tent after two first-half touchdowns were called back, but not this year. Kudos to our kids for buying in and believing that uh, we continue to focus on the things we can control. Uh, and um, they did that, and they came out, and they made some big plays in the second half, and and uh, and we won, and it was it was it was really good, really good to see our kids grow up a little bit and mature into that. It was another come from behind victory for Macon as they beat Centralia 24 to 23. It's a testament to our kids' character for sure, and uh, we've been in several like that. We've been behind in a lot of games this year and, and found a way to come back in the fourth quarter and win. And, you know, it's just about the kids believe, believing in themselves, believing in each other, and, and believing in the coaching staff. I'll buy you dinner if you can figure out the football playoff system in Missouri. Kirksville got the show right into the stick. They will travel to Warrington while Moberly, a team they beat, will host a playoff game. Would it make more sense to play every team in your district during the regular season? Sure, that, that, that could be one format. Um, like I said, there's not going to be a perfect one. And at the end of the day, uh, as, as a head coach, as, as a coaching staff, and as players, you can't really uh, focus on stuff you can't control. There's been a lot of talk about putting together some eight-team districts where you'd have seven district games throughout the regular season. And I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to that, um, especially if we're class two like we are now. If, when we were class three, though, and most of our district was in St. Louis, that would, that would make for a lot of travel for us. Ottumwa has one more chance to get a win on the 2016 season as they travel to Iowa City West. It doesn't necessarily make a whole lot of sense for us to come out and put a whole bunch of new stuff in and, you know, change this and change that. I mean, we want to do the things that we feel confident that we can execute. But it's the same thing, I think, as, as it was last week. Pressure's off of us. In college football, Truman State lost to Grand Valley State 41-3. to The Bulldogs were not happy, but it's time to move on. There's no excuses. We simply got beat uh, in all three phases. Uh, didn't play well in any particular phase against a fantastic football team. In high school volleyball, Kirksville lost uh, starts district play tonight against Marshall. I really like our matchup with them. They've got a couple of good girls, but I like our, our uh, matchups against those girls. And uh, I look forward to this matchup tonight. I really think that we could pull it off. 